weather authority, meteorologist Watch Ron any of that Rose. I did. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we're big into break dancing. Okay, out with the old and with the new. Boom, boom, boom. Today is the 14th day of August. Uh, looking for a last minute dinner reservation. I think we've all been in this situation sure, before sure. where we need to make a reservation. It's like, oh my goodness, we want to have dinner, but we know it's a nice restaurant. You need a reservation. All right, open table app. Mm -hmm. That is the one. Have you been there before? Uh, yeah, I used okay. it. Okay. It shows you open reservations at nearby places and allows you to book a table with a simple one-click reservation option. It's e especially good if you're trying to book for a larger group. wonder who sponsored that one. Sponsored by <laughs> Open Table, the app. But it really does work well. Now, okay, I don't good. know about the one-click thing, but you can see. Well, we uh, did that. We made uh, reservations in a restaurant in Nashville. Right. And you can see, okay, 4.30, you know, 6, whatever time's available. If that doesn't work for you, then go to somebody else there you so go. it really is that you know it really is helpful okay there you go so there you go so that was it, a good it, one. it was definitely that, a we'll sponsored, approve of one. That one. sponsored by but it open. works hey, if it works that's all that really matters so oh, open table there you go we take a look outside right now yes there's a dump truck he's going southbound on 69 there's always a dump truck or a cement mixer on this shot i don't know what but well they're doing a lot of construction work over there i know that's what it is there's another dump truck headed into evansville if you look closely you got a red uh, bed, a red bed <laughs> on that dump truck heading into heaven. So, uh, we are seeing the flag getting pushed around a little bit. And oh, by the way, the flag is now getting pushed a little bit more to the north. We've got more of a southeast wind in play. So, that's going to be the case. Uh, east earlier today, not a big wind, but still southeast. And anytime you got southeast wind, southwest, south wind, you know. Uh, we're going to be seeing some humidity not long, be, well, at least this time of the year, we're going to see some humidity move back in. And we're gonna, definitely going to see that tomorrow. Not as much today, though. Beautiful blue sky over Central City. Our Austin Homes camera there uh, checking out the scene. It is move-in day at USI. And we've been seeing a lot of traffic, especially earlier on University Boulevard, headed into campus. Of course, our camera here is at the library at USI, looking out toward the Lloyd and also University Boulevard. We did see a big truck and a big trailer. We kind of assumed that must be Stacy May and her daughter Claire <laughs> moving half the house uh, to USI's campus. Anyway, now we take a look at our bleary-eyed look at downtown Evansville through the foggy lens of our camera on top of Fifth Third Bank. Right now, the temperature 83 degrees, 2.63, that's doable. Not a big wind out there. And we are seeing temperatures in the low to mid 80s. So, I mean, not bad. I mean, not as good as what it was earlier this week or what it was over the weekend, but we'll take it. I mean, it's not 95. You know, as warm as we've been, or I guess I should say as hot as we've been all summer long was in June. A couple of times in June, we hit 96 degrees. Now, we've hit a few 95s out there, and we had one earlier this month as well, but never more than 96. And, it, you know, with the 6 to 10-day outlook showing below normal temperatures, that's going to take us close to the end of August. I feel pretty good about saying I don't think we're going to hit 96 again, or at least we're not going to hit 100 degrees at any point this summer. Let's hope that holds. 84 Tell City, Santa Claus, and Jasper. A lot of 84s out there. 84 also in Fordsville, 82 Henderson, and 84 degrees right now in Madisonville. Beautiful sunset last night. Man, I had a nice one at my place. Looking even better down in Eccles, reflecting off the water. I love that. Jeremy Doherty's the one who got that great shot of the setting sun. And here's another cool shot from earlier this morning. We had a little bit of fog in spots. Look at this low fog. You can still see the treetops. Uh, we got a little bank of fog there on the other side of the fence there, uh, the Wallace's fence there in Sargo, which is just outside of Owensboro to the west. Nice looking shot there and a nice looking uh, pool they've got in their backyard. Temperature, or I should say live radar right now. We're noticing a little bit of rain around St. Louis. Now, the showers and thunderstorms have been in Missouri really throughout the morning. A lot of this is working its way south or southeast. It's going to stay to the west of the Mississippi. Now, we're seeing some clouds being kicked our way. and You can see a few showers making their way uh, east of the Mississippi River. I don't think much of anything is going to be moving into the tri-state other than the clouds. Maybe a couple of showers up to the northwest, but I really think most so that's going to hold off to the west and most of us are going to stay dry for another day today and big picture uh, yeah that rain's not impacting us yet what else will not impact us well it is now hurricane ernesto and it has been pounding uh puerto rico and it's working its way to the northwest it's going to pull more to the north though here are the projections on ernesto category one hurricane at last check pecking 80 mile per hour winds it's going to be taking a turn to the north and then back to the northeast and away from the United States. So even though it is projected to be a major hurricane, Cat 3 packing 115 miles an hour winds at its center anyway. And that's going to be in the open waters of the Atlantic. So it won't be a problem for most anyone except for, I guess, 
trade ships. Anyway, you can see a couple of showers, our future trackers indicating. I'm not really buying into that. The chance for rain today is less than 5%. We are going to see a few more clouds, though, start to spill in later on this afternoon, especially west of the Wabash. And then as we roll into our Thursday, quiet start to the day. Got a few clouds in play. Latest run on Future Tracker really kind of downplaying this first wave of showers and thunderstorms moving in around noon. Better chance comes later. It looks like in the evening, Future Tracker speeding up the second wave to push it in in the early evening. And then as we head into the overnight hours, another round of thunderstorms. So it's showing three rounds pushing through basically around midday and then later in the afternoon, early evening, and then later on midnight and beyond. So uh, yeah, it's going to be one of those kind of a days. Pretty good chances for rain, then the rain starts to taper off as we head into the weekend. 88 degrees, and I'm not expecting a drop of rain today with a mix of sunshine and clouds, but it is going to be warmer. Not really all that humid, though. A uh, three-degree guarantee called for a high yeah, on Monday when I was last year of 83. Got up to 81. That is a winner. And we've got a winner, Chrissy Marsh of Evansville. Congratulations, Chrissy. You've got yourself an umbrella courtesy of Ackerman Chiropractic. Come on by the station and pick it up. Temperature today, 88, 90 tomorrow. And again, chance for thunderstorms. Looks like three waves moving through now. And then they'll be tapering off on Friday. Over the weekend, highs will be in the mid-80s. A little humid on Saturday. Slight chance of rain early. I'll work on that. And then we're going to be seeing a dry day on Sunday. Sunday, the better of the two days. Wow, Beautiful. what a sunset. This is from Inser, just outside of Owensboro. Last night, an absolute stunner uh, right there from Carla Latham. Carla, thank you so much for that one. That looks good. And you know what else looks good? Dishes for Wishes by Granted. There they are.